Hi, I'm Robbie Susan Chandler from RobbieSusanCardsAndCrafts.com. I live in Quincy, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, Florida. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Please visit my website at www.RobbieSusanCardsAndCrafts.com. I'm here today to share a project with you. So let's get crafting. Today's project is an easel card. You can see from the side. Here's the front. And it folds down. And it's made with a two-tone floral stamp set. And let's take a look at these supplies we'll need. The card base is a piece of starry sky, 11 by 4 and a fourth inches, scored at 5 and a half and 2 and 3 fourths. And that fold will go under like that. So that's your card base. You'll also need a piece, another piece of Starry Sky that's four inches by five and a fourth inches. And you'll need two pieces of basic white that are four by five and a fourth inches. The stamp sets we're using today are two-tone floral, peaceful moments, and go-to greetings. The dies that I'm using are around the bend and we'll be using this piece although it has several other beautiful pieces in it we'll be using the splatter embossing folder and also the coordinating dies that go with the two-tone floral stamp set all right let's get started on this one okay so you have your card base and like I said, you need two of the four by five and a quarter. One of them you will just glue to the inside. I have found with easel cards, when you make one like this, there's nowhere to sign or write a note. So I've started adding this white piece in the bottom so my customers will have a place to write a, a note to the recipient of the card. So that's our first step. And then we need to take this piece, another piece of the basic white, and this die fits right along the corner here. And when you cut it out, you have this. Now also, this is where the um, splatter embossing folder came in. And if you look closely, you can see where I have embossed this with that splatter design. This piece you will glue down to your Starry Sky four by five and a quarter piece. All right, so we have that now. Okay, so let's start building on that. I added uh, right in the middle of this piece, I took a piece of, um, this is the metallic, metallic mesh ribbon and I just put a few pieces of our tape runner right in the middle and stuck that down. Just give a little frilly look there. Now my flowers are a two-step process. This is the base. This is the outline. To match these up, you have to match the little stamens in the middle. On these two, <clears throat> you want to match up this little section. And on these two, you want to match up that little crescent shape in the middle. So with mine, I used two different colors. For the base, I used Orchid Oasis. And for my outline, I used Starry Sky. And this is what my flowers ended up looking like. So that's the largest one, largest, the next to the largest, and the smallest. <clears throat> and I also did two of these little smaller pieces. So those are all the flowers that I used on mine. So I'm going to start <clears throat> at the top with the smallest. And I put all these on with dimensionals. 
and then just kind of place it up here and then I came down with the next size I hope I had a rhinestone come off let's put that back on yep. we'll worry about that later okay so this one goes here that isn't a good example of why you should wait and put your rhinestones on after you've put everything on your card and save your embellishments for last and then the largest one I just kind of put over here and these little little flowers I always like to add little accents like stuck over on the side and the other set the offset down here stick this under there like that okay the leaves in this set I decided to emboss in silver so these were done with silver embossing powder and I'm just going to put a little glue on the end Let's stick one. Let's go about right there. And this one. Let's add it off over here to the side. And the last one. I'm going to fill this corner down here. I may have to lift this flower up. So let's stick this one right down here in this corner. That rhinestone's going to bug me. I guess I'm just going to have to wait and deal with it later. Let's see if it stays. Okay, so here's our flower arrangement. I also made a thinking of you, and I put it on a strip. I cut two pieces with the same die. One out of silver and then one with the white that I stamped on and I just offset them one on top of the other. And We're going to put them right down here on the bottom. Let's do this right here. Okay, so now we have our front piece but we need to put it on our base. So to do that Let's just put our glue all over this bottom half. And I think I told you this piece was four by five and a quarter, but I'm going to correct myself on that right now. It's actually four and a quarter by five and a half because it's the exact size as the front of a card. So it should fit flush right on that bottom half. So the correction on that, this piece that we glued the white to is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now on my sample, I have a sympathy card, but I decided I needed a birthday card. So I have stamped this one with happy birthday using the good go-to greetings. And I've got the starry sky piece on dimensionals and my sentiment on dimensionals. So you need to pop that up a pretty good amount because it's what I call the stopper for this card and it's what makes your easel stand up. So you can decide how high up you want your easel to stand. Um, I push mine back a pretty good amount because I want, want it to stand up pretty tall. Put that piece down and there you have your stopper, what I call the stopper and that's what holds your card up. So here's our finished card. As you can see this was really a pretty easy card to do. Stamping these flowers was not that bad once you figured out how to line up those centers. And I love this around the bend die. It just adds so much to cards. So there's our project for today. I hope you like this project and we'll try to make it too. Uh, there's a free download. If you click down below on the link, you can get the free tutorial for this. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks.